Hey, friends. <laughs> Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead, and we are with and Hi. Scott Hi. from Let's Homestead Instead. You got to see what they've done. I can now live vicariously through them. When, okay, first off, folks, look at this, please, Scott. Talk to us about this cheese. Well, I started making cheese a year ago. Uh, we had uh, just goat cheese. I made it out of goat milk. Uh, wasn't very successful, though, last year with that. I had uh, a hard time with goat's cheese, We too. didn't have enough milk, fresh milk, day fresh, to make a batch. I had to wait two days to make a batch. But uh, this year, we bought in the Jersey cow, and uh, we have enough day fresh milk to make uh, batches of cheese. And your cow is pregnant, is it not? Yeah. Oh. Now, folks, Scott, please tell us what we're looking at here. Uh, starting with the... Point. The white. Yeah. Uh, that is an American brick. Mm-hmm. Uh, that... Is cheddar and chives? One, this is a cheddar and chive, this one here. Yeah. Uh, and that one is a cheddar, a creamy cheddar. Yeah. Yeah. I ate some. I, I'm, yeah. Okay, so when, what got you into making cheese? Like, uh, obviously the abundance of milk. Well, abundance of milk. I, I like cheese. <laughs> so oh, it only made sense to make cheese. And we are always constantly buying cheese. So uh, making it, it's fun. It's uh, very flavorful. Yeah, uh, is it ever? And, it's delicious. Uh, it, it's something that could be preserved for uh, months, years, and... We could have it on hand anytime we want. So when you guys bought this place, I remember you were just starting out. Yep. And now you're goat breeding? Yep. Uh, what kind of goats do you breed? They're registered Nubian goats. Registered Nubian. So this is Lady Smith Farms, right? Yep, Lady Smith Ranch. Lady Smith Ranch, sorry. And you breed dogs too? Yep. yep. So what people don't know right now is that the power is out. That's correct. Yeah. And we're sitting here having a cup of tea. Look, my friends, at that wood stove. Mama want one. Seven grand is what it would cost me. But so now you're you're making cheese. You have your own dairy. You have chickens, eggs, meat birds, goats, sheep. sheep. And you're almost you're almost at the point of self sustainability, eh? Almost. Almost. How much acreage do you have here? 68 acres. So are you thinking of planting any grain anytime soon? Like einkorn wheat or something, which is really... Uh, no, wasn't planning on that. Just feeding the livestock that we've had. Uh, yeah. Right now, uh, we've been working the land for the last five years because this land was not had not been worked uh, for almost seven years before we got here. And so, so it's totally organic. Uh, and, um, the soil was acidic and Right. it was uh, 7.5. Oh no, it was five. So I had to bring the, uh, bring it from a acidic soil to an alkaline soil. Right. So we had put a line down, mm -hmm. which was three, three metric ton of line. Wow. Was that expensive? Uh, not so bad. No. Okay. Uh, now it's expensive. It's probably tripled in price. Yeah, everything's tripled in price since the pandemic. Uh, we reseeded. We did it uh, with uh, Timothy, alfalfa, red clover. Oh, and nice. And brome and orchard grass. Oh, wow. So we're just, last year, we were just starting to really see the, the real start of uh, the new fields. The work is... The work, the work that had begun... Four years ago, five years ago, is now just coming out now because we didn't well, it's, we didn't do any uh, chemicals or anything like that. that. It's organic and it's all been done over time. It's like anything that's worth building, but it's all front end loaded work. Like you spend three, five years just getting your soil right, getting your buildings right, knowing what you need to survive. And then it's like, okay, you've got a routine in place that's going to work. Right? Yep. So don't be afraid if it takes, you know, three to five years to get where you're going because 
front end loaded work like that sustains you for a long time afterwards. And see, now this is what I'm talking about, folks. Get to know your local farmers. Oh, yeah, this is soap. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and do you use all your own soap? You make your own laundry yep. soap? Yep. Okay. I, I, like, not always. Like, recently we bought some, but... Um, I'm, I'm trying to go back to just making my own out of wood. Now, do you have an energy efficient washing machine? Yes. Because I'm apparently, it in it. well, you know what? They say to use less borax because it's hard on elastic. Mm -hmm. Just add the borax in separately um, to your laundry when you've got heavily stained like work clothes and stuff. Yeah, that's I what I heard. I use the borax though. I, I, I make it pure out of the wood ash and that's it. You just make lye? Like lye soap. It's, it's lye soap, but it's diluted. And then I'll add whatever herbs if I want to have a scent in it or essential oils. And I'll add uh, some vinegar for uh, soft, like a fabric softener. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, and I've missed you so missed you. badly. So I'm going to get off here because I want to visit. And I want to talk to Steffi about gardening and plants and all that stuff. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from... Lady Smith Ranch in or let's, homestead instead join or let's homestead instead on YouTube saying I'm so proud of you guys Thank you. I mean you yeah. guys when we first met we had chickens we had chickens, we had chickens. <laughs> awesome Thank you guys. There we go got it both and you want to see what I brought home from Steffi and Scott's Here we go We have six white broilers and we have two barred rocks and two black Sussex. We're just gonna put the screen down. Gracie's been introduced and she knows everything is a no-no. And I just put these down. These, this is the nighttime lights. I think that's the nighttime lights. Let's see, what do we got? We got bright, yellow, and night. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead. And I've got chickens again. Yes. Take care, God bless.